Okay, welcome Standing Strong. Um, I almost fell over there. That wouldn't have been a good advertisement. Um, we're going to do a, an interval workout today um, with interspersing periods of moderate intensity with some high intensity. All you need for this workout is a small pair of hand weights. They can be anything, um, even as small as half a kilo or a kilo, um, probably good because we're not doing it as a strength, but just trying to do it with a bit of speed. Um, you can do it with a can of um, <laughs> can of beans, a um, couple of cans, that sort of stuff. Just go at your own pace. Um, this isn't a workout for everybody, perhaps. Just um, do what you can do. So if there's periods of high intensity that you know uh, are not for you, just turn the volume down, um, so to speak, and just do it at a lighter intensity. Okay, so we'll put that the dumbbells down just for now. We're going to just make sure we get a good warm up, warm up in, and we'll just open up. So I hope you enjoy this. We're trying to make, um, you know, have a lot of cardio and endurance work in our program. Um, because one, it's so good for you, but two, people enjoy it. And we probably don't get enough of it, right? Hands here. Just do the loop, the loop exercise. And the idea, if you if you are someone who can get along to two of these Zoom classes a week, um, getting another two sessions of cardio and endurance and, and the rest of it in is going to do uh, good things for you. So for next term, a, a new little initiative of having a bit more of a whole whole program approach where. Um, if you want to be someone who is getting all of your exercise through standing strong, and not everyone is, and uh, by, by no means do you have to be, like there's so many good programs out there and we just want you to move. Um, but if you want to keep it simple and just keep it in the one, um, one program, it just means that if you're doing the two Zoom sessions a week plus your, plus your class, plus a couple of home exercises with the Fizzy app, if you're wanting to join us for next term, then you should be ticking off almost everything in terms of your strength, balance, mobility, bone density, power, cardio, all the rest of it, flexibility. So that's that's what we have in mind, just to take the, the hassle out of it. But just bear in mind that we're going to do a fair bit of arm work. So if you have a shoulder problem and we're going overhead, you might want to do it like down here rather than overhead, for instance. But just modify any exercise to suit. Good. Feet nice and wide. And whenever you're doing a higher intensity workout, now don't be afraid when I say high intensity. We do this all the time. Every class we do high intensity. So. Uh, it's just when we're getting our heart rate up, okay? Um, most people hear that term and think, oh my goodness, I can't do it. Um, you have been doing it. But whenever we are getting our heart rate up and moving our bodies quickly, you want to be really warmed up. Make sure that you know what's going on in your body. Good. So, right, yeah. I hope you're all doing okay with all these floods and storms and everything going on. All right. Let's do the <clears throat> B-rolls. And just some super glue walking. All right. So make sure you have your drink bottle ready. Um, rest whenever you need to. We're going to go pretty much straight ahead, like that workout we did a month or two ago, which was the cardio one that everyone loves and hates at the same time. <laughs> So just make sure you take your own rests. Um, 
Well, we'll try and do it for 15 kind of minutes or 20 minutes sort of straight. Grab your dumbbells. <clears throat> All right, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do some just easy walking. We'll just monitor your pain levels. No point going into pain. Get your breathing started. All right, and then, then out, like so. Just go at your own speed. forward and back. I'm enjoying seeing all the different types of weights you've got. That's fantastic. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a dumbbell, does it? This has to be a bit, bit of weight in it. All right, and then we're gonna go Push, just be careful with this one. Running. Okay, so we're going to do our first spell of higher intensity stuff. And we're going to just, just do some punching. So get down low and just do some punching. Just with a bit more vigor than your, your moderate intensity. Don't hurt yourself at all. Make sure your shoulders and your arms are comfortable. Allow your body to kind of twist. And then a little uppercut. One, two, one, two. And then running on the spot a little bit faster than before. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then go back to your, your baseline. So just uh, monitor the point, like you might find that whether your weights are too light or too heavy. Get some new ones if you need to. All right, we're going to go squat and reach, squat and reach. Your breathing sort itself out, get into a good rhythm with your breathing. Back into here again. Yeah. Try and be symmetrical left and right as much as you're able to. This is that all those muscles are working just as hard as each other. And then push upwards. Just notice that I'm kind of pivoting on my feet. And that just stops my knees from 
you know, twisting. So it should be nice and comfortable. All right, we're going to go into our next round of high intensity. Really try and get going here. Then into uppercuts. Just don't accidentally hit yourself in the face, will you? <laughs> that wouldn't be good. And then into here. Good. All right. And then we're going to go into our swings. So doing them with weights is just a bit different, isn't it? You can do this whole workout without weights, of course, if that's what you're up to, it's totally fine. Almost certainly the most important part of any kind of fitness program is just getting your body moving in a general sense. That's always the, the foundation. Okay. And why is that easy for these ones? It's not to be fast. Okay, and then lean over, and we'll do the well. We'll do what, lifting a bucket up from the well. I'm pulling all those weeds that are overgrown right now. <laughs> all right, let's get ready for round three of the high intensity. So try and give it a little bit more now. High intensity um, is where you start not being able to speak in full sentences. So if you were to try to conduct a conversation now, you wouldn't be able to do it without breaking. So that's a good gauge of knowing how hard you're working. Then, last one. Punch running. Good, and then back into moderate. Okay. So, moderate, you should be able to talk in fuller sentences, but still have your breathing just a little bit up. Now this next one is a bit tricky. We're going to go out. Yeah, sorry, I went the wrong way. So we're stepping diagonally forward. One arm comes up, other comes down. So of the leg that's leading, that arm, the same arm goes down on the leg that's leading. And, then, and as you get that movement, just see if you can so this is actually a bit of a coordination one as well. Hard to get your head around it. But the diagonal one with arms going from floor to ceiling. Bit of an all body one. Good. Back here. All right. Round four. All right. One.
Awesome thoughts, right? All right, now, an exercise you're familiar with, but we haven't done it with weight before, or with like a little squat, bring your arms up almost like you're doing your backhand in tennis. Man to our shot put. All right, and then kind of cherry picking. So arms up at the same time as your calf raises. Bit of a tricky one. Good for your balance as well. And then back into your skaters. So a lot of repetition, isn't it? We're just trying to cycle through, keep moving. A good way to keep moving is to keep cycling the exercises. The reason being is you're using different muscles. So some parts of your muscles get a rest whilst you're doing something else. So we call it active recovery. So your heart rate keeps going, but certain muscles get a bit of a break, which is all good. Okay, round five. I think it's round five. You should feel that you're getting maybe a little bit sweat, sweat, sweaty. Your breathing should be naturally coming up. Muscle, muscles getting warm. I don't want to get comfortable, no pain. And then into the run. Good. All right. All right, now we're going to do some jumps. Again, if you can't jump, just sort of step. If your knees or ankles or hips are a bit rough with jumping or even your neck, sometimes your neck feels it when you jump. And then feet together, jump forward with that. So, so. And again, if you can't do this, that's fine. This is just for some angle for us, we're going to end this. All right, good. Back into bed. All right, come back into you. How are you feeling? You going all right? Well done for keeping up. All right, hands together, and then do the swings. Right. This one. You'll earn your cup of tea by the time you finish, I think. <laughs> and then back into here again. Then cross country skiing.
what can we start? I want you to put your dumbbells down now. And I keep working on the spot as you go. Now, because you don't have the dumbbells on, I want you to go, you're going to go 60 seconds um, of your punching, but extra, extra hard, extra fast. All right, go. Now that you don't have the weight to see if you can go a little bit harder without hurting yourself. Stop around. And big walking now. How many in one's foot? Halfway. 60 seconds is a long time, isn't it? All right, again. Make sure I get it right. Keep going. Two, one, and relax. Ah, good. Well done. Have a rest. Just keep walking around the spot. We'll do a bit of a pull down. There you go. Well done. You've done about 20 odd minutes straight of that. So we'll do a little bit of a warm down. And we'll see how you go. So hopefully, hopefully you felt okay. Um, often you can be a bit sore in the few days after this if you haven't done this kind of thing before. So just walk it out. Keep warm. Warm showers help. Um, and we'll see how we go. Okay, I'll just get out and move them back in. Nice flowy movements if you can. Hands on your shoulders and we're doing elbow circles. Hands on your hips and we'll do the hip circles. Let's see if you can bend over. Just bend and straighten your legs a bit. Just do some, I'm just holding onto something. There's a bar here that you can't see, but you can hold onto a chair. And this one. Standing on one leg, do some ankle circles. Good, just into that long giant step forward. Back foot on the ground, back knee straight, and you're just stretching out here as well as the back of the arm. Uh, whilst you're in this position, put your hand here and reach over. And you get a bit of a side stretch as well. And we're gonna swap over legs. Try and make sure that the back foot's facing forward. Nice stretch there. And then while you're in this position, see if you can stretch it up. And a little challenge to finish with, <laughs> what we're gonna do is our single leg stands. Okay, so it's funny when you do um, balance straight after 
you've already done some strength and endurance, you'll see how much it drops off. So just be careful. Um, but put one foot out to the side, come up onto the ball of your foot and we'll do this one. And um, just take note, just take note of how hard that is compared to it usually is. So you can see that perhaps you could be more vulnerable to falling over at the end of the day when you're a bit tired, right? Just be mindful of that. You know, if you're, if you're wanting to stack shelves or do stuff um, and it's safe for you to do so, it might be easier to do it when you've got a lot of energy, for instance. Let your breathing rate just come back to normal. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Just let's just do that washing machine one. Just let those arms dangle out our shoulders, kind of dangle our neck, just bob around a little bit. All right. Take a deep breath in. And then, yeah. Take a deep breath in. And then, nice and slow, deep breath in. Well done, there you have it. Have a good rest, well done.